Good morning. This is All India Radio, Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs Nirmala Sitharaman launched the National Monetization Pipeline, NMP, in New Delhi yesterday. NMP comprises a four-year pipeline of the central government's brownfield infrastructure assets. Besides providing visibility to investors, NMP will also serve as a medium-term roadmap for the asset monetization initiative of the government. Speaking on the occasion, Sitharaman said NMP talks about brownfield assets where investment is already being made and where there are assets either languishing or not fully monetized or underutilized. She said brownfield infrastructure needs to be better monetized. She said by bringing in private participation, the government is going to monetize assets better and with whatever resources obtained by monetization, the government will be able to put in further investment into infrastructure building. The NMP will serve as a roadmap for asset monetization of various brownfield infrastructure assets across sectors, including roads, railways, aviation, power, oil and gas, and warehousing. Woka District Task Force, DETF, on COVID-19 yesterday held a meeting with the state representatives nominated by the state government, Commissioner and Secretary, Excise and Sericulture, Oren Bomokikon, and Joint Director, Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Chekro Shuyi Tetsu, at DC's conference hall. Speaking at a meeting, Gikon said, the state has to be prepared against the third wave as it could be very fatal to the children and the younger generation. Keeping this in mind, he said the state government has formed a supervisory board to assist each district to work out a strategy to contain the pandemic and to create awareness to educate the people to get vaccinated. He said the purpose of the state team is to ascertain ways and means to assist the DETF to make plans on creating awareness and to educate the people, even in rural areas, on the benefits of being vaccinated. He further appealed to the stakeholders of the district to help the DETF in creating awareness on getting tested and vaccinated to be protected from COVID-19. The meeting was attended by members of DETF, Chairman Lotha Hoho and representatives from both Baptist and Catholic Church associations. In order to commemorate one year of the implementation of the National Education Policy 2020, the Department of School Education and Literacy of the Ministry of Education has prepared a booklet on one-year achievement of the NEP implementation. The booklet will be launched virtually by Union Minister of Education Tramendra Pratan today. In addition to the booklet, some major NEP 2020 initiatives will also be launched by the Education Minister. A delegation of 11 parties led by Bihar Chief Minister Nidish Kumar yesterday met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi over the issue of the caste-based census. Among the delegation were the Jeshwi Yadav RJT, who is the leader of the opposition in the Bihar Assembly, and BJP leader and State Minister Janak Ram. After meeting the Prime Minister, Kumar said that he heard the demand of the delegation. He said that the delegation briefed Modi on how resolutions have been passed twice in the State Assembly on caste census. The Union government will brief the floor leaders of all political parties on the situation in Afghanistan on Thursday. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Bralhat Joshi said floor leaders of political parties would be briefed by External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shanga on the present situation in Afghanistan on 26th of this month at 11 a.m. in the Parliament House Annex. India has so far evacuated nearly 600 people from Kabul in Afghanistan after the Taliban took over. And as the nationwide free COVID-19 vaccination campaign at government facilities for those above 18 years is going on, we advise our young listeners to get vaccinated and also to help others get vaccinated. We also advise our listeners not to lower the guard as COVID-19 remains a threat to our health. Please stay at home unless it is essential to go out and continue to follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800-345-0019. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.